What are the warning signs? Your blood sugar is out of control. Frequent urination is just one of the symptoms of uncontrolled type 2 diabetes, but there are others that are just as important to be aware of if you are concerned about having high sugar levels. There are some serious complications that can come with having high blood sugar such as heart failure and stroke. However, diabetes can be managed with prescription medication, diet, and exercise to help you live a normal, healthy life. To keep you informed about the facts and figures of your health, hit the bell icon to subscribe to our channel and stay up to date with our videos. Disclaimer. Always consult with your healthcare provider before starting any new diet or exercise program or using any home remedy. Here are some of the common signs that your sugar levels are too high. 1. Frequent urge to pee. When your blood sugar is high, your kidneys expel the excess blood sugar, causing you to urinate more frequently. One of the early warning signs of diabetes is frequent urination that is urgent enough to wake you up to go to the bathroom during sleep. 2. Increased thirst. Sugar affects your body on a cellular level. Since your kidneys are working overtime and you are also urinating more frequently, valuable fluids will be pulled from your tissues. Frequent urination will make you feel constantly thirsty. Once the sugar particles reach your blood, water moves out of your cells and into your blood to restore balance in your blood. As your cells lose water, they send signals to the brain indicating that they need more water. The result is that you feel the urge to sip on something. 3. Fatigue When your blood sugar is high, your body works hard to get rid of the excess sugar. Not only does this process take a toll on your body, but it also alters the way that your body uses glucose for energy. Excessively high blood sugar or hyperglycemia has fatiguing effects among other symptoms. Additionally, the dehydration that accompanies more frequent urination is a common cause of fatigue in diabetics. 4. Blurred vision. Diabetes is a condition that can lead to medical issues affecting the eyes. High blood sugar can cause damage to the small blood vessels of the eye, resulting in a swollen lens that can cause blurred vision. As blood sugar levels rise and lower, your vision may return to normal or worsen, respectively. 5. Increased hunger. When you have high blood sugar, your body is actively looking to get rid of it. Because your body expels so much of the glucose you're getting from your food, you may have increased feelings of hunger. 6. Mysterious weight loss. With the discharge of excess glucose, you're losing your largest energy source, and when your body is unable to use glucose for energy, it starts burning fat and muscle, causing weight loss. Unexplained weight loss is considered to be significant at 10 pounds or 5% of overall body weight. Unexpected weight loss is often noticed in people prior to a diagnosis of type 1 diabetes, but it may also affect people with type 2 diabetes. 7. Slow healing of cuts and wounds. Similar to damaged eye tissue causing blurred vision, damaged blood vessels cause weakened blood circulation. Because of this, it's harder for blood to reach the affected area, and minor cuts or wounds can take weeks or months to heal. This slow healing makes unhealed cuts and wounds prone to infection, increasing the risk of amputation. 8. Tingling or numbness in the hands, feet, or overall body. High blood sugar can have a significant impact on nerves. High blood sugar damages your nerves, and these nerves may stop sending messages to different parts of your body. This damage can start with feelings of tingling or numbness, and can escalate to pain or neuropathy over time. Up to 70% of people with diabetes will develop some type of neuropathy, making it one of the most common side effects of this disease. Nerve damage can also occur in internal organs, such as the heart or digestive tract. Diabetes-related neuropathy can affect muscle strength, sensation in various parts of the body, and even sexual function. People who develop diabetic neuropathy are typically those who have trouble controlling their blood glucose levels, blood pressure, cholesterol, and body weight. 9. Dark Patches on Skin 
Insulin resistance can cause your skin to develop dark patches that are typically found in the folds of the neck, underarm area, or groin. This darkened skin can appear raised and velvety in texture. This condition is called diabetic dermopathy. Diabetic dermopathy is usually harmless and should fade away in 18 months or so, but it also can last a long time. 10. Yeast Infections The excess sugar in your blood and urine creates an ideal environment for yeast. Yeast infections are caused by a fungal group called candida. The infection commonly affects warm and moist areas of the body, like the skin of the mouth, vagina, and penis. It can rarely infect internal organs and spread in the bloodstream. Maintaining blood sugar can help reduce the likelihood of getting yeast infections. How to prevent high sugar levels or hyperglycemia. There are simple ways to reduce your risk of severe or prolonged hyperglycemia. Be careful what you eat. Be particularly aware of how snacking and eating sugary foods or carbohydrates can affect your blood sugar level. Stick to your treatment plan. Remember to take your insulin or other diabetes medications as recommended by your care team. Be as active as possible. Getting regular exercise can help stop your blood sugar level rising, but you should check with your doctor first if you're taking diabetes medication. As some medicines can lead to hypoglycemia if you exercise too much. Monitor your blood sugar level. Your doctor may suggest using a device to check your level at home so you can spot an increase early and take steps to stop it. One of the challenges of managing diabetes is maintaining consistent blood sugar, glucose levels. Even with attentiveness, some situations can cause high blood sugar or hyperglycemia, while others can bring on low blood sugar or hypoglycemia. After all, it's not just carbohydrate intake that influences the amount of glucose coursing through your bloodstream when you have type 2 diabetes. Emotional stress and certain medications can increase your blood sugar levels, and a boost in activity can cause them to drop. The more prepared you are to identify the signs of both high and low levels, the better able you'll be at bringing them back within a desired range and stay healthy. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed our video and found the information useful.